This video will cover questions regarding the topic of related rate, the cone. This is question 1. There is an inverted conical tank with a radius of 3 meters, a height of 6 meters. It was filled with water. The water is leaking out at a rate of 2 pi meter cubed per minute. That means the volume of the water is decreasing. Then dv dt equals minus 2 pi meter cubed per minute. As time passes, the water is decreasing. Like this, let's say r and h. When the water is 4 meter deep, that means h equals 4 meter. This is 4 meter. Since the radius and height change as the amount of water decreases, the radius and height become variables. Please remember that only changes in value become variables. How fast is the radius of the surface of the water decreasing? That means we are looking for dr dt. The volume of the cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. In the cross section, R, H, 3, and 6. These two triangles are similar. 3, 6, R, H. Because both are right angles. And this one are the same. So we can set up 3 over 6 equals R over H. That means 1 over 2 equals r over h. Then cross multiply, h equals 2r. Then back to the original, 1 over 3 pi r squared times h equals 2r. That means 2 pi r cubed over 3. Differentiate implicitly with respect to time. Then d dt of v equals d dt of 2 pi over 3 times r cubed, then dv dt equals, keep the constant, and using the chain rule, 3r squared times dr dt. Now plug in all the information, dv dt equals minus 2 pi equals 2 pi over 3 times 3 times when h equals 4 meter, 4 equals 2r, that means r equals 2, then 2 squared times dr dt. Then 2 pi is cancelled, 3 is cancelled, minus 1 equals 4 times dr dt. So dr dt equals minus 1 over 4 meter per minute. That means the radius of the surface of the water is decreasing at a rate of 1 over 4 meter per minute. Question 2. There is an inverted conical tank. Height 4 feet. Radius 3 feet. Water is being filled at a rate of 1.5 feet cubed per minute. That means dv dt equals 1.5 feet cubed per minute. Let's say R and H. Find the rate at which the water level is rising. That means the height is changing. So we are looking for dH dt. When the water is 2 feet deep, that means H equals 2 feet. When the water is 2 feet deep, since the radius and height change as the amount of water increases, the radius and height become variables. The volume of the cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. In the cross section, 3 feet, 4 feet, r and h. These two triangles are similar. 3 feet, 4 feet, 
and R and H because both are right angles and this one are the same. Then we can set up 3 over 4 equals R over H then cross multiply 4R equals 3H and divide by 4 on each side then R equals 3 over 4H then back to the original 1 over 3 pi R is 3 over 4H squared then H equals 1 over 3 pi times 9 over 16H squared times H 3 times 1, 3 times 3 then 3 pi over 16h cubed. Differentiate implicitly with respect to t. d dt of v equals d dt of 3 pi over 16 times h cubed. Then d v dt equals keep the constant using the trainer 3h squared times dh dt. Now plug in all the information. dB dt is 1.5 equals 3 pi over 16 times 3 times h is 2, 2 squared is 4 times dH dt. 1.5 is 3 over 2 equals 3 pi times 3 is 9 pi. 4 times 1, 4 times 4 over 4 times dh dt then times 4 over 9 pi on each side 2 times 1, 2 times 2 3 times 1, 3 times 3 then 2 over 3 pi equals 4 is cancelled 9 pi is cancelled then dh dt the final answer is dh dt equals 2 over 3 pi feet per minute. That means the water level is rising at a rate of 2 over 3 pi feet per minute. Question 3. There is an inverted conical tank with a radius of 4 meter and a height of 9 meters. These are fixed numbers, not variables. This conical tank is being filled with water at the rate of 6 pi meter cubed per minute. That means dV dt equals 6 pi meter cubed per minute. How fast is the surface area at the surface of the water increasing? That means we are looking for dA dt. As water fills, the surface area of the water changes, so the surface area of the water becomes a variable. Also, as the water fills, the radius and height change, so both become variables. Let's say R and H. When the radius of the surface of the water is 2 meters, that means R equals 2 meters. In the cross section, 4, 9, R and H. We can separate 4, 9 and R and H. For the same reason as already explained in the previous two questions, these two triangles are similar. So we can set up 4 over 9 equals R over H. Then cross multiply 4H equals 9R then h equals 9r over 4 then b equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h is 9r over 4 equals 3 times 1 3 times 3 pi over 4 then 3r cubed differentiate implicitly with respect to time d dt of v equals d dt of 3 pi over 4 times r cubed. Then dv dt equals keep the constant using the trainer 3 r squared times dr dt. Now plug in all the information. 
dv dt is 6 pi equals 3 pi over 4 times 3 times r squared equal 4, then dr dt. 4 is cancelled, 3 times 1, 3 times 2, and pi is cancelled. Then 2 equals 3 times dr dt. That means dr dt equals 2 over 3 meter per minute. When the water is filled, the surface is in the shape of the circle. This one. So the formula for the area of the circle is a equals pi r squared. Differentiate implicitly with respect to t. d dt of a equals d dt of pi r squared. Then d a dt equals pi times 2r times dr dt equals 2 pi times r is 2 meters then dr dt is 2 over 3 equals 8 over 3 pi meter squared per minute. The surface area at the surface of the water is increasing at a rate of 8 pi over 3 meter squared per minute. This is the last one. There is an inverted conical tank with a radius of 2 meters and height of 5 meters. Water is leaking out at a rate of 2,000 cm3 per minute. That means water is leaking dv out over dt equals minus 2,000 cm3 per minute. At the same time, the water is being filled into the tank at a constant rate, like this. If I is the rate at which water is filled in, then dv in over dt equals i centimeter cube per minute. So water is here. Then dv dt equals dv in dt plus dv out dt. That means i minus 2000 centimeter cubed per minute. Let's say r and h. If the water level is rising at a rate of 10 centimeter per minute, that means dh dt equals 10 centimeter per minute. When the height of the water is 3 meters, that means h equals 3 meters. Then as you know, in the cross section, these two triangles are similar. Both are the right triangles. This one are the same. We can set up 2 over 5 equals r over h. Then 5r equals 2h. That means r equals to h over 5. b equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h equals 1 over 3 pi r is 2h over 5 squared then h 1 over 3 pi times 4h squared over 25 times h equals 4 pi h cubed over 75. Then differentiate implicitly with respect to t. d dt of v equals d dt of 4 pi over 75 h cubed. Then dv dt equals, keep the constant, 4 pi over 75 times 3h squared times dh dt. Now plug in all the information dv dt is i minus 2000 equals 3 times 1, 3 times 25, 4 pi over 25 times h is 3, then h squared equals 9 times dh dt is 10. i minus 2000 equals 5 times 2, 5 times 5, 72 pi over 5. That means i equals 
2000 plus 72 pi over 5 centimeter cube per minute. The water is being filled in the tank at a rate of 2000 plus 72 pi over 5 centimeter cube per minute. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.